Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in again. I really appreciate all your views and some of the comments you leave and things like that. It means a lot to me. I, uh, I've been having kind of a crazy week. Um, somebody very close to me passed away. If you saw the previous video. Um, and then today, uh, I was attacked online. Um, honestly, off and on for... Ever since I was in college, I've been attacked online. It used to be I would get attacked by people that, um, they're a part of this group called F the Troops. And, you know, I'm leaving out the swear word here. So, you know, I'd get some hate mail on Facebook from people like that. And then recently someone made a fake profile so that they could attack me for doing what I feel is the right thing. The topic of this video is, uh... Be wise as serpents, gentle as doves. And I'm borrowing that from the Bible. I believe it's Matthew 10, 16, where Jesus told his disciples to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. And the reason I'm thinking of that is because part of the reason um, I'm getting some of this hate mail or getting attacked online is back in the day I was put in a situation where it didn't really seem like there was any way I could win. And so I did what I felt was morally right. And looking back now, I, I do think I did the right thing. But, you know, I, I could have maybe gone about it a little wiser. Um, you know, sometimes you're put in a situation you don't have a lot of time to make a choice. And, you know, you're trying to keep people from getting hurt and things like that. And then other people, when they see what you did, they have all the time in the world to dissect everything and go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see this here, you see this here, and then they can twist your actions and your intent and your goodwill and they can get you into trouble. Uh, you know, I had a job one time as a youth pastor and uh, some people I feel bore false witness against me and I ended up getting fired and I felt that I was doing a pretty good job there. You know, part of that also had to do with some, some church politics and, and things like that, but you know, being wise as serpents, that really could have helped. And I realize right now some of you are going, what does this have to do with survival? Well, you know, a lot of times you guys, you go out in the woods, you carry something like this, okay? You got your tool. You're wise in bringing your survival knife, okay? Um, you know, our brain is the best tool we can take with us anywhere. And we need to make sure that, that we're always sharp, okay? Whether you're out in the woods... Whether you're in an urban setting, you know, um, a desert, a jungle, lost at sea, your brain, your mind, your wits, that is your one of your greatest assets. And I'm hoping that in making this video, if you find yourself in one of those situations that seems unwinnable, that you'll remember what I'm about to tell you. Learn how to cover your hind end, okay? I'm not saying lie. I'm not saying be deceitful or anything like that. I'm not here to promote those things. Keep records of what is said, what is done. Keep records of when you go somewhere, when you leave, especially if it's a job, you know, um, or if it's like a sensitive situation or something like that. Keep detailed records, okay? Write some comments down, you know, have a journal, something like that. So if something comes back to bite you and all you had was the best of intentions from the start, you can pull out some kind of a journal and say, hey, listen, here's the details, here's what I did, here's why. I was placed in this, it was thrust upon me, whatever, you know, we we can't control everything, um, but we can do our part, you know, and kind of like bringing that, that survival knife with us, we can have some of those records to come to our aid when we need it. I, I really don't like the way the world's going, you know, it's bad, it's, we live in a day and age where if you tell the truth and people don't like the truth, and if you act on the truth and people don't like the truth, they don't acknowledge the truth anymore they will just gather together and make the truth teller look like a bad person that's their way of dealing with things and so you need to watch for that make sure the truth is addressed like you know for example if you say hey i saw your 12 year old stealing and they all gather together and go well you're this kind of person that kind of person you said this you did that you know you can say hey listen are we addressing the fact that your 12 year old stole something you know so there's an example <clears throat> know the laws, you know, just like some of you know the terrain, you know what you can eat, you know how to track, you know, you know 
edible and medicinal plants. Know the laws where you're at. Um, you know, sometimes the best thing you can do is just be quiet. You know, sometimes it's hard to condemn a person who's who hasn't said or done anything. Um, you know, and discernment and wisdom and things like that are are more than worth their weight in gold. You know, if they had a quantifiable weight, I guess. So, for all my friends out there who are survivors and and care about the truth and want to be good people, be wise as serpents. And be gentle as doves. Don't let this bad world turn you turn you bitter. But at the same time, be smart with your kindness. And, and be smart about how you go about things. As always, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you viewing. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.